Hello everybody, you got Mark coming to you tonight on the Garage Guy 879 channel. This Saturday evening, October 23rd, 2021. Now the other day at work, a buddy of mine, we were talking, and he asked me a question. He said, Mark, in your opinion, what are the five most commonly carried handgun rounds? I told him I'd have to give it a little thought and get back to him, and he said, that'd be fine, why don't you make a video about it? And I said, okay, that's a good idea, and uh, I like videos like this because, you know, it gives people a chance to interact, usually in the comments section, if you do a firearm review, they'll write something like nice gun or something like it, which is all well and fine, but... Uh, you know, the people watching this uh, video, my viewers and subscribers, feel free to leave in the comment section what uh, you believe is the five most commonly carried handgun rounds. And right here's my picks after giving it some thought. Uh, some people might disagree with one or two of them, but uh, that's okay. That's what we're here for. You know, just have fun, you know, have a little discussion. Anyway, my first choice is going to be 22 long rifle right here. Now, it's as far as self defense carry, I wouldn't it wouldn't be my first choice, but a lot of people and more people than you think carry a firearm chambered in 22 LR. Now, if you do, I would highly suggest you use a revolver because 22 LR is more dependable in a revolver than a semi-auto. Now, something like this, the uh, Ruger SR-22, good little pistol, but uh, if you come across a dud round or something, you got to rack it and chamber another round and you know, that sort of thing, and that might be a little bit too much time more than you want to spend in a self-defense situation. So I'd recommend something like this Ruger LCR chamber in 22 LR, and uh, it has a 8-round capacity, where the SR-22 does have a 10 plus 1, but a revolver is going to be more reliable if you're carrying 22 LR. All right, my second choice, of course, very popular, 9mm right here. And uh, it's probably the most carried round out there, you know. So that's a no-brainer. Also, a lot of people, especially maybe older people, carry this round right here, 38 Special. Now, myself, uh, when I carry a revolver, it's 38 special plus P hollow points. And, you know, this this round's been out for, what, over a century, something like that. Uh, it's been proven, it's been tested, it's been tried. And uh, a lot of people will carry maybe a 357 Magnum Snubby, but they'll have 38 special or 38 special plus P loaded in it because it's a more manageable round. Some people say, yeah, but 357, you know, Magnum is a better round. Well, not everybody can handle the recoil as well with 357 Magnum coming out of a snubby as they can 38 special or 38 special plus P. I'm a fourth pick. As many people that like 40 Smith & Wesson round, there's just as many people that dislike it. Well, you know, uh, I've got no problem with it. I can take it or leave it either way. But, yeah, a lot of people do carry the 40 Smith & Wesson round. Me, I prefer 357 SIG over uh, 40 Smith & Wesson, but uh, not that many people carry 357 SIG. I don't understand that. It's a more expensive round and probably harder to find. And there's not near as many firearms chambered in 357 SIG as they are chambered in 40 Smith and Wesson. And last but not certainly not least, the old man himself. We're talking 45 ACP right here. Tried and tested over the years. It's been a proven man stopper along with 357 Magnum. And uh, 
a lot of people can manage the recoil from 45 ACP and uh, get accurate second shots as necessary because when shooting a firearm in a 45 ACP you don't have like the muzzle flip it's more like back in your hand you know back like it that's the uh, recoil impulse most of us get from that and believe me a lot of people carry 1911s as a concealed carry weapon and you know those things are, are just reliable that's all there is to it and a 1911 to many people chambered in anything other than 45 acp that's just sacrilegious <laughs> i think y'all know what i mean now the two rounds a lot of people may disagree with might be of course the 38 special and the 22 lr some people may say hey why not 22 magnum that's an excellent choice for self-defense round. Uh, if you ask me, here's my granddaughter's uh, Charter Arms Pathfinder Ultralight Chamber 22 Magnum. We've seen it a few times here on my channel. And for what it is, this has been an excellent revolver. I mean, it is broken in nicely. The trigger and hammer action is excellent. And it's very light. 22 Magnum, yeah, that'll get the job done. And as far as 38 Special, you know, a lot of people are going to say, no, I think more carry 357 Magnum. But like I said, 38 Special is a much more manageable round. Now, like I said at the first of the video, this is just my opinion on what the five most commonly carried handgun rounds are. Feel free, if you disagree with me, to uh, leave your list of what you think the five most commonly carried handgun rounds are, leave, leave, leave your list in my comments section. Be glad to hear from you. And if you agree with me, feel free to comment on that too. It's always good to hear from everybody. Okay? In my opinion, the five most commonly carried handgun rounds right here. All right. Hope to hear from you all soon. Have a good night.